What's going on, people? Yeah, you see it a lot of me these days, and uh, it's just I'm happy. I'm happy, and uh, I really like being able to just check in and talk to you like immediately like this, you know, um, probably in the near future. I mean, I know you can do instant messaging now, but I imagine in the near future there will be a more, someone will come up with a way that you can do live talking on here, and you can do it in a group, and you can pick and choose, and it'll be easy. And we won't be able to, we won't have to make videos. We'll be able to just punch buttons. I mean, you can do it with Skype now, but I imagine something coming up in the near future on the internet where we just can interface through a, a browser and just start interacting with people and conference calls and the whole thing. It's coming. So I just uploaded a video where I showed you the progress. I got the album artwork done. I'll be getting in touch with um, my financiers <laughs> about getting the money and um, getting in, getting the, literally getting the money and what form I need it in because I am um, ready to make the order. I have the master, I have the data master, glass book CD they want. I have all the information that I am going to put on a data CD as well. All, all the graphic information, the label information. I've got my ordering forms. Uh, just to, uh, I've got the forms as complete as I know how to complete them. And uh, <clears throat> so we're good. We're good to go. So um, hopefully this will all be put into motion um, within the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours. That Hopefully within the next 48 hours, the actual order with money will, will be sent. This is very exciting. So, so even though I've been very excited with this and busy with this, I'm a vinyl junkie and I have not been to the shops except for that one time to buy the one, Brian Eno. And um, I was chomping at the bit. I needed to do some crate digging, y'all. And so that's what I did today. I went to um, a place called the Imaginarium. Now, it's one of those places where people can think, put their stuff on consignment. So you'll see a lot of different people's stuff in different parts of the place on sale. And so they have several different people that are selling records. I hadn't been there for a while, and I had complained to them that I thought that the prices were a little bit uh, high. So they, they, uh, they gave me a discount. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Yes. So, all used, N nothing groundbreaking. That's what I like. I like to find stuff that's groundbreaking. But that's already been taken care of for me today. Sequoia Flame, you did me right. And you got this for free? I listened to All the Way Side 1. Yeah, this is Twee, but this is right up my alley. Sunshine Pop, the girl's only, what, 11 years old singing? And this is like I had been saying in past videos you paid attention uh david thank you i want more mexican music hispanic i mean i've got um south american music but uh I want more music from mexico Me mexican okay so here's what i picked up today and i've been wanting this album for a while but i can never find a decent copy and so i found this one's in good shape mandrill mandrill Finally got one with minimal ring wear. Usually they are toasted. And look at how nice it is overall. I'll pop this on in a second, but I want to show you the record because it is mint. Look at that. That is just about perfect. And that's what I've been looking for. I've been wanting this album forever. I've had... Back in the day, I somehow inherited, I think, Babel's copy. Remember Babel, Stephanie? <laughs> Big Babel? But it didn't have a cover, so it was just scratch the shit. So I got Mandrill in the house, but no cover. I can't play it. Okay. Found another ECM. This was nice. The cover is slightly beat, which I was pissed, but um, I didn't have this one. And it's a double, and he gave it to me for the price of one. Keith Jarrett, Nude Ants, with Jan Garbert, Pal Danielson, John Christensen. 
And as you can see, the cover is just a little creasy, you know, clunky, but the records are in great shape. I'm always ready for more ECM, people. Always. Let's keep going here. Here's one that I took a chance on, and I'm going to give some credit to Astral Traveler because I know how to buy, but I've been paying attention to you because you buy records where the lo the covers are shit. They look like, who made this cover? And a lot of times I'll see records like that, and I'll keep looking. And you're smart. You look closer. It's like, what's on here? You know, and you find some gems. So this one, I, the cover, look at this crap picture. John Stowell, Golden Delicious. What a crappy cover in my in my opinion. But it's on the Inner City label. And that's a label that you can get some real nice surprises on people. And um, I played side one of this and it's a it's a good date. He's got um, Dom Omromao on percussion. David Friesen, excuse me, um, on bass. The incomparable Billy Hart on drums, okay? Claudio Rodito on trumpet. And so, th and this is good. She slightly a uh, nondescript cover is what I would say. It's like, I guess maybe this is for, for ladies that might want to get into jazz. This mandrill is the bomb. I've been waiting forever to get a get a new copy of this. This sounds great. I got this for less than five dollars, still in the shrink wrap. Rush, Grace Under Pressure. No, this is not my first Rush album. I cannot find um, uh, moving pictures. I don't know where it is. But I have, um, I got another one over here. I can't think of the title right now. But um, time for some Rush. I recently watched the um, documentary DVD, uh, the drummer from RAF loaned it to me. I've always respected Rush. I respect him so much more now. Much respect to Rush. So as far as you guys know, or as you guys that have been watching my videos, you've never seen a Talking Heads record. It's not that I don't like Talking Heads, it's just that there was really no reason for me to buy Talking Heads. I found a couple today really cheap in great condition, so I got them. Um, I'm looking over here because I'm trying to think, can I show it? No, I can't show it real quick. No, it's over there. I have the Robert Rauschenberg um, limited edition cover. It was given to me for my birthday years ago. I never play it, but I have it. But I got this. Stop making sense. It's in great, great condition. Talking Heads are a good band. Um, I just, you know, Talking Heads have just never caught me. It's like all around me. It's like, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. But it's never hit me like a ton of bricks. It's like, yeah, they're good. This one's still in the shrink. Remain in light. Never owned it. I had a roommate years ago when I had roommates back in the 80s. One of my roommates had this, and so I became very familiar with it, okay? It is a good record, but Talking Heads have never hit me in that special way like, I gotta have this, but they are good. Shadow Pax has been brought up, um, uh, I think by Astral Traveler again or someone else, and I have the ones that he showed, and then I found this one today, The Dreams of Children on Wyndham Hill. Yeah, good band. Good band. This one I used to have, and then I sold it, and I had the CD, and finally got a decent copy on vinyl to get back. UK, Danger Money. And this is, you know, on the getting more commercial, but the instrumental breaks are phenomenal on here. The instrumental parts of all the songs on here, when they when they leave the singing alone and get into the breaks, killer prod. This is also in perfect condition. These records, um, almost all the records I bought today, except for the Keith Jarrett, look unplayed. They look unplayed. For $2, I picked this up today. George Clinton, The Cinderella Theory. 
you know I love George Clinton and Funk Dillick. Met George Clinton. Unfortunately, when I met George, he had just finished doing some crack. So he was. Sorry, George, I'm talking about you. If you ever see this, you know I ain't lying, man. It was a shame that, you know, I just happened to catch you, you know. You had just got done. And everybody with you was all blazed out. I love you, George. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I met you the way I did, though. Cinderella Theory on Paisley Park. Perfect condition. These records. Someone, someone just dropped these off. You know, it's like I never played them. The Mighty George Clinton. Too bad about the damn crack and cocaine, because I think that's his downfall, it's crack. We've been talking about Roberta Flack, and I came across an album of hers I had never seen before. And it's produced by Marcus Miller, and I said, I gotta give this a chance. I haven't listened to it yet. I love Mar Marcus Miller, and I love Roberta Flack, and the combination, something good is probably going on. Oasis, anybody else know this album? I've never, I haven't heard it yet. And it's in great, it's in, it's like new. And the record is too. God, these records are perfect. They're brand new. So it was a real godsend. Isn't this interesting, this mandrill? They go from straight funk into rock. They're just rocking out. One people, people. One family. One music. Okay, here's one that I decided to take a chance on. Um, I don't know this guy, Scott Robinson, Winds of Change, but again, it was only a dollar. It's autographed. It's autographed. And we have a couple of players on here, so this 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 has potential to be good. It's on a small label, Multi Jazz, which is another thing. Small labels. We have Terry Lynn, Terry Lynn Carrington on drums. We have Ira Coleman on bass. Um, that's another bass player's son. This guy's monster. And these other people, I do not know. Oh yes, I do. Niels Landocky. I've heard of him. Or is it his brother, Chris Mendock? This is unplayed. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Uh, because, again, it's like uh, I looked closer and I said, you know, this could be good. This could be good. I just got a couple more. Here's one that I bought. I'm not that big of a fan of John Clemmer or Art Pepper. But the four of these guys together, Art Pepper, John Clemmer, Johnny Griffin, who is an, was like an uncle to me and my sister Stephanie. Stephanie, do you remember Uncle Johnny Griffin? Mainly from Chicago, but he came to Omaha and visited us a few times. I remember him at the house. Call him Uncle, jo uncle Johnny and Joe Henderson. So I, and this is on Galaxy, another one of those little kind of cheapo labels that sometimes get it right. You know, sometimes these little labels that don't have any money are able to come across great recordings through uh, licensing mishaps or whatever. But um, the other players on here is the other reason why I said, well, this this has got to be good. I mean, Stanley Cowell on piano, Cecil McBee on bass, Roy Haynes on drums. Okay. I mean, if nothing else, the ensemble playing has got to come alive at least a couple times on here. So... Pick this up for two bucks. They gave me a, a, that's what you get for speaking up. I was actually expecting the opposite, which was, oh, you can play it. <laughs> I got two more. Two more, yeah. Okay. So this one was not in as good a shape as the others, but it's okay. But it was only $2. Further Adventures of Jimmy and Wes, Jimmy Smith and Wes Montgomery. I think we can find something nice on here. You think? I think we can find something good on here. Verve. 
and um, Jimmy Smith, Wes Montgomery, Grady Tate, Richard Davis. We've got Woods, the woodwind, woodwind section. Percussion, Ray Barreto. We'll be checking this out. There should be something nice on here. The last thing that I picked up, I don't think these guys are cheesy. I think these guys are good when I'm in the mood, and that's Yellow Jackets. Samurai Samba. This is the kind of commercial jazz that, or jazz rock or fusion or whatever you want to call it, that this strain I like compared to like uh, Richard T and Bob James and Crusaders. That stuff is good. I don't like that flavor. It's kind of like cilantro to me. I don't like cilantro except when it's mixed right. Yellow Jackets, I like this. I like that. So, that's what I picked up today. I wanted to see if I had anything lurking here just to show you from recent blaking that has not been shown. I got a few things because I got time. Um, so, yeah, it really felt good to do some crate digging today and find some things. And then they get a little bit of a discount, which is nice. Some things that I'm all out of the Blake sleeves again. I've gone through all 500 again. <sighs> Cannot wait for that manufacturing. But here's the last bunch of what I blaked up. Moi Caprice. I think this is a, a band from Berlin. This was given to me by a musician producer out of Berlin that I've worked with. Um, this is good pop. I'm not sure who to compare this to right now. I listened to it last night. Moi Caprice. Here's some Zool from France. I don't know if anyone... Well, you guys know about it, but I haven't seen it shown. Potemkin, Triton. They have another album I have on CD, but this is the only one I have on vinyl. Vinyl. Love it. Yeah, this is in the magma vein, but without the cheesy vocals there. It's a little bit of vocalization, but not much. Here's one that I need to play. Kind of a horn band from the 60s, 70s. Pig Iron. One of the horn players, Marty Fogel, who started out in this band, went on to do jazz. I've got some other... Marty Fogel albums. He's a good player. Pig Iron. Anything else? Oh, yeah. This is not an original fold out, gatefold, but this is an original vertical swirl, Beggar's Opera. And um, it's got the poster, but um, it's not a fold out, but I will pop this one open. Um, Beggar's Opera, good band. Vertigo Swirl. Good band. So I'll blake that up. Let me see if there's anything else right quick to show. Yeah, I'm going to be wrapping this up in a second here. Um, I think that's it of the new, newly blaked things that I can show. Everything else down here is stuff I've been going through. Oh, I will say this right quick about the um, some of the records I got recently. Um, you know... Catastrophe. I'm so happy to have this. Now, I need to explain. This is kind of a cheesy album, but there's one track on here. That's all it takes. There was one track that caught my attention, um, and it was that one that said, I'd really like to own this. So I, I, I want I want you to be sure to, to understand that this is not something super special, extra cool music. It just means a lot to me. It's something that I heard and thought I'd never own. It's just got a little tune here I really like. Um, I listened to this, Fist of Facts. This is cool. Now, this is totally new wave. The person cannot sing. They can't get that note at all. And yet, because of what they're doing with their idea, it's working, okay? I mean, it's even a little funny. And this is just the way I am, folks, as a musician. I notice these things. You can hear the person searching for the note throughout the into every song. He's trying to find that note. Can't find it! And it makes it cool. Sonic, Sonic Mainliner, you're right. This is a cool-ass band. Wolf Parade? Um, I still at, would be at pains to describe what it's like, you know. Uh, it's, it's on the pop side, but it's interesting. I really like this. I'll be getting more Wolf Parade. I love that cover, too. Hey, Jen. I know you have this, too. You said you have it on CD. And I listened to this Flame Dream. Yeah, you can definitely hear where these guys were trying to get their Genesis on. 
when they keep their mouths shut, it's good. Another perfect example of like, please guys, just don't sing. The music sounds great. I'll tell you what, I am chuffed big time to have this in my collection. Flame, I got me a Flame Dream album on Vertigo. You better believe it. These records are like treasure. They're, they're wonderful artifacts, you know what I'm saying? Even the ones that I don't like that much, you know? Um, so, so I so appreciate it, you know? The Jerry Lee Lewis. I'll play this probably once and never again. But I greatly appreciate, greatly appreciate the gift. <sighs> Hope everyone's doing well. Oh, one more thing, yeah. Sometimes when I get desperate for music that I know that I can't afford, but I want to have a, tag, a tactile experience with it, I'll burn the mother up on a little CDR and make a cover. And we've been talking about a lot of rare groove, funk, soul, people music, and I would I missed an opportunity when this was reissued. I don't know if I'll find it again. I didn't buy it when I was in Chicago last year. I should have. But I played it yesterday for a bit. Wow! Chico Magnetic Band. I'll bet you one of you mothers, at least a few of you guys have this. Wow! Chico Magnetic Band. I mean, you can just go by the titles alone. Explosion. Pop, pull, hair. We all come and go. Pop or beat or bite. And then they do cross town traffic. Wow! Killer. Who has a copy of this? Show it. Please show it. And then I uh, pulled the, pulled this up. Uh, Metropolis. I'm trying to think where this is from. Did I write it down? Yeah, this is German. Man, this is good. Metropolis. Um, kind of fusiony. Uh, I was just listening to it on the uh, computer, and it kept saying, "Who is this? What is this?" And I said, "Let me burn this up." I've never seen a copy of this, Metropolis. And um, shouting out to 24DB Andy, he's showing his craft work. And I thought I had Tone Float, but I don't. I thought I had it on CD. I was pissed, so I burned it. <laughs> I mean, I can't go out and buy it here in Omaha. And this is this is a this is a, a big album of percussion but this is the beginnings of Kraftwerk Tone Float Organization another one that I uh, just this is from Argentina I just felt like trying some shit out yesterday when I had the time and I played this all, this is awesome Arco Iris Fusion Progressive Jazz from Argentina this is amazing. This is really, really good. Not only imaginative writing, but the playing is top notch and not derivative, not derivative. This is an original song, Arco Iris. Once again, if one of you has this on vinyl, love to see it. Would love to see a real copy of this. And the last thing I burned this weekend because I wanted a copy so bad because it's so cool. Agua Turbia. Psychedelic Drugstore. The name says it all. Psychedelic Drugstore. <laughs>